All right, so whether they're a voice actor, a podcast, or a content creator such as a YouTuber, this video will cover some great gift ideas to give them this holiday season. Links to everything in this video can be found in the description below. Also, a lot of things will likely be on sale this time of year, so make sure to check on that as well. Let's get into it. Okay, so for this one, it doesn't matter what you do, a great cable can make a big difference. As you've probably heard me say a million times at this point, Megami Gold. I'll leave it at that. Moving on. All right, these nifty little lights are great. I personally have two of them and I absolutely love them. They do both daylight and tungsten as well as full RGB. They also give you multiple effects like a cop car effect, for example. This would be a great gift for a content creator. Now, everyone out there could use a good microphone arm. I personally own the Rode PSA One Plus arm and absolutely love it. However, you don't need the Plus. You could just go with the standard Rode PSA One arm. They're incredibly durable and reliable. But if you want to save some money, you could go with this InnoGear arm. It's also a solid choice at a fraction of the cost. Both are great options. Bonus, if they're a content creator and they don't want the microphone in the shot while they're shooting their video, you could go with this onstage SB96 Plus Studio Microphone Boom. It's what I use in my videos when I'm using something like a shotgun microphone and I don't want the microphone in the frame with me while I'm shooting the video. It also rolls around the room, so that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Okay, now let's talk headphones. I'll just give my recommendations here, but I will be making a video in the future breaking down everything to do with headphones. But for voice actors and podcasters, I'd recommend these headphones solely based on comfort. We'll start with the least comfortable, more affordable headphones and work our way up both in comfort and cost. To start, I recommend the Audio-Technica ATH line of headphones. You have the ATH M20X, M30X, M40X, and the M50X. Now, there's a slight difference in audio quality, but the main thing here as you move up is just the comfort level. I personally own the 30s and the 40s. Lastly, I would recommend the Barodynamic DT770 Pro 80 ohm headphones because it's like wearing angels on your ears, as you can tell just by looking at them. Now remember, I'm just talking about comfort here, not any technical stuff. I'll save all that for another video, and honestly, in most cases, voice actors and podcasters don't need to worry about all the technical stuff. Now, to touch on the technical stuff just for a second, if the person you're buying for is an audio engineer and they're looking for accuracy, I highly suggest the Sennheiser Pro HD650 open back headphones. Those are the headphones that I currently use and I absolutely love them for mixing audio on. Again, I'll dive deeper into headphones in a future video a little later on, but for now, let's move on. All right, now, every voice actor, podcaster, or content creator could use extra storage to free up space on their computer or just to back up all their files. These days, storage is actually very affordable. One thing I do is I buy two of the Western Digital MyBook external hard drives and back up all of my important files on them for one year. I buy two because I clone everything that I put on the first hard drive over to the second hard drive. I highly suggest doing this because a hard drive can crash at any moment, and if you only have one, there goes all your information. But you could also back up your files via cloud storage as well. All right. Moving on. Now on to monitors. Content creators could use a nice monitor to edit their videos on, and voice actors could use a portable monitor to read copy from. One of the monitors that I use is the BenQ PD 2700Q 27-inch monitor. I found them to be very affordable, but also just great for video editors. Now for voice actors, I recommend the Asus ZenScreen MB16AC 15.6-inch portable monitor. It's powered via USB, and it's what I use to read copy in my booth. You could also just use a tablet if you have one. All right, this is a great gift for voice actors, podcasters, YouTubers, live streamers, really just about anyone. But I teach how to use this software in my dog classes that you can find in the description of this video. Isotope RX is an awesome bundle of restoration plugins that help you fix your audio in many various ways. Now, of course, my philosophy is to have your audio totally fixed and clean before you even begin recording. But in some cases, Cases, things happen and you just can't help it. And when things like that happen, you have this plugin bundle from Isotope and it does a wonderful job. One of my favorite plugins inside this bundle is the D-Clicker. Now you're probably asking yourself, what the heck is a D-Clicker? Well, we all have something called mouth noise and it sounds like this. I know, it's it sounds really gross. Really sorry about that. Now, when we're speaking to people, we don't notice it, but when speaking into a microphone, we're usually about six inches away or closer, which is a lot closer than we talk to people, and microphones are more sensitive than our ears, so it amplifies our mouth noise. The D-Clicker plugin won't get rid of every single mouth noise, but it will get rid of the majority of them. I use it pretty much every time I'm recording voice for anything. Quick tip, I've been talking about Isotope RX Elements, which is the most affordable option, but if you want 
want to move up one tier to Isotope Standard, the declicker is called Mouth Declick, and it actually does an even better job at getting rid of mouth noise if you have really bad mouth noise. Lastly, these plugins, if used the wrong way, can absolutely destroy your audio. So if you'd like to learn the correct way to use them that will give you the best results without hurting your audio, you can sign up for a class or a private session with me in the description below. And finally, what microphone do I recommend? Well, for voice actors, I'll keep it very simple and just go with the super reliable and affordable, great sounding Rode NT1. I've recommended this microphone more than any other microphone. As I said, it's really affordable and it sounds great. Easy peasy, lemon cover girl. Now on to podcasters. Of course, I recommend the Shure SM7B or the RE20, but both of those are a bit pricey. So my more affordable option would be the Shure MV7X XLR microphone. I'm actually releasing a review I did on the microphone very soon, but let's go even more affordable here. If you don't want to break the bank, I'd suggest going with the Rode Pod mic. If you'd like to hear what that microphone sounds like, just go check out my video I did called Top 10 Podcasting Microphones. All right, and now on to content creators such as YouTubers. Well, honestly, I could just suggest everything that I've already suggested, but now is when I'd also suggest a shotgun microphone for the people who don't want the microphone in the frame with them while they're recording their video. On the affordable side, I recommend the Deity S Mic 2. I'll be reviewing that microphone in the future, but I'm actually just about to review a microphone from Audio Technica called the AT875R, and that was recommended to me by one of my students. And she may not want me to give her a shout out here, so I won't say her name, but thank you so much for the recommendation. I'll be reviewing it soon. I actually have it sitting in a box right over there. Now it is very, very affordable for a shotgun microphone, so I really want to find out how good it sounds, because if it sounds really good, I'm going to start pushing it. But now if you want to go to the higher end of microphones, I'd recommend the Rode NTG5, the Asden SGM3500L, or the legendary Sennheiser 416. Shotgun microphones were made to capture audio at greater distances, so they would be one of the best choices in this scenario. Alrighty then, when buying an XLR microphone, you're going to need an audio interface to properly power that microphone. So which one should you buy? Well, I did a video titled Top 7 Audio Interfaces where you can get a more detailed explanation, but that video is mainly geared towards voice actors. So what do I recommend for podcasters or content creators? Well, not that much different, actually. Rather than going into a bunch of technical specs and mumbo jumbo like I did in the video I just mentioned, I'll just list out a few options that I recommend. Immediately, I will recommend the Focusrite Solo or 2i2 third gen interface. If you're hesitant to buy a Focusrite interface, don't be. I explain why you don't need to worry about them in one of my latest videos, Top 10 Home Studio Essentials for VoiceOver, if you want to know why. I'll leave the link to that video in the description below. Next, another interface that I own and use is the Universal Audio Volt 276, but honestly, you could just go with the Volt 1, depending on what you need. I break all of this down in my Top 7 Audio Interfaces video as well. While I recommend many more, I'm going to just move on to the more expensive side of things, the Universal Audio line of interfaces. If you'd like to see all of the other interfaces that I recommend, just go watch the video, or you can check out all of my recommended equipment via the link in the description of this video. All right, so we have the Apollo Twin that everyone knows, as well as the more affordable Apollo Solo. If you're looking for insane power and front-end processing capabilities, then this is the interface for you. Again, I go into more detail in my other videos, link in the description. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video, and everyone have a wonderful holiday season. And remember, if you see mommy kissing Santa Claus, well, you know what they say. Oh, and Merry Rickmas.